Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from MLS. It's Los Angeles FC and they face the Colorado Rapids. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting 11 for Los Angeles FC. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this confrontation is underway. Bassett, Sam Nicholson, Acosta, preferring to go infield, opportunity to deliver the cross, well in the end it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper Stewart, well he has to do better there, that's a really poor finish. Well, here's something the visitors know they've really got to work on, Stuart. I'm talking about scoring goals. They just haven't had the magic touch. Well, on the road, they're just too negative in their attitude. Whether that comes from the coach or the players, only they will know. But unless they can be more expansive in their play, they'll struggle to score again today. Can they get themselves in front here? And there it is, 1-0. Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Diego Palacios. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Bassett. And he read it well defensively. Buanga. This might be ideal for the counter. Far from a good pass. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. And scope for them to produce something exciting. to square the game once again exhilarating well it's great awareness of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish that's a clever goal
So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Cifuentes. Now Carlos Vela. Ryan Hollingshead. Jose Cifuentes. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention, and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. Well, first things first, they need the ball again. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. So that is that, the first 45 minutes have come and gone, and it's the visitors on top. Yeah, we've talked at length about their problem scoring goals, but what an improvement today. Suddenly they're passing the ball forward at every opportunity, and they're getting closer support to the front players. It's been really good. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Vela, very quick thinking there. But he keeps going. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. And time for the change now. Nicholson. It's... Oh, surely... Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Struggling to keep the ball. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. The cross is on. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Chiellini and it's with Sanchez well they must exercise caution standing off as they are in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here they've regained possession well doesn't have to do it on his own the supporters want to see him have a go and it's a goal Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Galvan not getting anxious when they have the ball 
Well, trying to take the time, but not enough care on the ball. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Sanchez. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Must be! Shot blocked but still alive. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Hollingshead. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Sam Nicholson. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, that shows the problems facing the coach. They've struggled to score goals, so then he allows them to play with more freedom, and they look much better going forward. But as a result, they're left exposed at the back. He just has to find that happy medium.